Bitcoin Network recently marked a significant milestone with its fourth ever halving event, which took place on a Friday night. This periodic, predefined process cuts the rewards granted to Bitcoin miners by half, a mechanism embedded in Bitcoin's code to control the issuance rate of new coins and enhance the cryptocurrency's scarcity akin to digital gold. Every four years, the Bitcoin network undergoes this halving event, fundamentally designed to reduce the speed at which new Bitcoins are created, thus mimicking the production rate cutback similar to precious metals like gold. The halving decreases the block reward, the number of Bitcoins given to miners for adding a new block of transactions to the blockchain. Prior to the most recent halving, miners received 6.25 Bitcoins per block, which has now dropped to 3.125 Bitcoins. This reduction not only affects the miners' earnings directly, but also influences the overall supply of Bitcoin by slowing its growth rate. The ultimate cap of 21 million Bitcoins, as stipulated by the Bitcoin protocol, remains unchanged with about 19.6 million coins already in circulation. The immediate consequence of the halving is most acutely felt by Bitcoin miners. These entities run powerful computer setups to process transactions and secure the blockchain, a task for which they are compensated in Bitcoin rewards. With the halving, the profitability of mining is directly impacted, especially for those with higher operational costs. According to Matthew Galenko of Maxim, miners who have access to cost-effective and reliable power sources are better positioned to withstand the new economic realities post-halving. Conversely, those with expensive operational setups might face challenges, potentially leading to market consolidation or even exit for less competitive miners. While the reduction in block rewards is a significant change, the market impact might not be immediately apparent. Historically, each halving event has been followed by speculative trading with varied predictions on the long-term price movement of Bitcoin. Analysts from JP Morgan and Deutsche Bank have suggested that the price of Bitcoin might face short-term pressure post-halving, though the long-term effects are uncertain. The previous halvings have been followed by an eventual increase in Bitcoin's price, contributing to its cyclic nature of reaching new highs. Another critical aspect to watch following the halving is the Bitcoin network's hash rate, a measure of the total computational power being used to process transactions and secure the network. Historically, the hash rate has dipped following halvings as miners, with less efficient setups, leave the market, unable to sustain profitability at the lower reward rate. However, as noted by Deutsche Bank's Marion Labour, the hash rate typically recovers within a few months as the market adjusts to the new reward baseline and remaining miners capitalize on less competition. Looking ahead, the role of emerging financial products such as spot Bitcoin ETFs could play a pivotal role in affecting Bitcoin's demand dynamics. As noted by Mark Palmer of Benchmark, these financial products could introduce a new wave of retail and institutional investment in Bitcoin potentially counteracting the supply shock caused by the halving with a concurrent demand surge. In summary, the fourth Bitcoin halving is a landmark event that reaffirms the cryptocurrency's deflationary nature, aligning with its original intent to serve as digital gold. While the immediate impacts are more tangible for miners, the broader implications for the Bitcoin ecosystem and its valuation are intricate and unfold over time. Investors and market participants will need to closely monitor the hash rate, minor economics, and the integration of new financial products like ETFs to gauge the full impact of this halving. As the Bitcoin landscape continues to evolve, these factors will play crucial roles in shaping its future trajectory.